Um, I, I was curious, G, though, like cutting through kind of like the politics and like getting through, you know, all of that stuff. This is like big picture macro perspective of Vietnam, but uh, we're known for doing stories, man. And oh, yeah. I know, I know you got a pretty sick story of, uh, of, of these guys that crawled around tunnels, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, um, so one thing to mention is the, the battle space in Vietnam is, you know, completely just, just picture yourself in the jungles. It's hot fucking bugs and tigers and VC and booby traps and all kinds of shit out there. You know, it's, yeah, it's basically boot camp in Camp Lejeune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not 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 quite. No, not even close. <laughs> but but uh, one thing, you know, Vietnam was was uh, all guerrilla warfare. It was actually see back in World War Two, what were they have, Were there real guerrillas? Uh, I, I don't. Maybe I don't have, <laughs> I know they got tigers out there and snakes. <laughs> right. Okay. So, but I will say, you know, during World War One, World War Two, and this is kind of just throwing the perception of it. During the first world wars, uh, you had goals. We got to take Tokyo. We got to take Berlin. We got to take this trench, right? You had like kind of those defined lines. You had armies. And then Vietnam came along and the victories were actually measured by body counts. Damn. That's awesome as like, fuck. God damn. You, it didn't matter what hill you took. You could take a hill, um, and lose all these guys, kill all these people. Right. And then a week later you leave it. But they were, it was all about the body count. That's that's how you measure the victory. I mean, how brutal is that shit, right? Shit. That's like, uh, I feel like there's like video games and shit like that, right? <laughs> like you just, your numbers are just. But but that's that's the way that it was weekly reports about how many motherfuckers did we kill today? You know what I mean? And, yeah. and, 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 and here's the thing, like some of those numbers were inflated because you needed to show a victory, right? Um but on the ground, couldn't you just count the ears around each person's necklace to well, decide? Believe it or <laughs> believe it or not, actually, um, and I mean, don't quote me on this, but this is just something that I read and heard. And and if somebody um, you know says I'm wrong, then please let me know. But I know for a fact, though, this is one thing I do know for a fact is that you got to show proof that you killed some motherfuckers. And if I remember right, the South Vietnamese Army actually used to bring fucking ears and fingers or whatever the fuck it is to actually show confirmed kills man you know? if that's if that's true that is some savage ass shit man yeah i mean um well you know you know uh in in certain parts of texas coyotes are so bad that uh they pay you to kill them and so you have to bring their ears yeah just like hogs and shit right yeah i i guess i, I mean don't hogs know. you just gotta wipe them out man but <laughs> but so they, talk they about varmints yeah but talk about wiping shit out man so you get the guys on the ground and uh there was this unofficial specialty which is called a tunnel rat and you're wondering well, what the fuck is that so the vc and the gorilla the way they would fight they actually uh because they didn't have like the massive air power we co were constantly bombing the shit out of them and all kinds of stuff so they were fighting kind of like an insurgency and they were good at it okay so they built these fucking complex underground tunnel systems and i'm talking about like intricate dude and under these tunnel systems man they had hospitals they had uh, weapon storages they had oh, i mean you could hide an entire regiment and you wouldn't fucking see until these guys start popping out of it so it was pretty common for infantry guys to go out in the bush and come across uh, a tunnel so it's like well what do you do with it so they start sending guys out there and it wasn't like saying okay this is a specialty you're a tunnel rat here's a pass for you it's kind of like hey you're five foot six and below Here's a 45, here's a bayonet, here's a flashlight, get your ass down there and fucking kill whatever's in there and then destroy the tunnel. So just picture that for a second, literally cramming yourself into a tunnel, right? Actually, it's easy to picture. Uh, so they, they had a scene in Forrest Gump where they, they told yeah. his ass to get down in the, and he was definitely taller than five, six, man. Fuck that. Yeah. Well, Tom Hanks can pull it off, man. I mean, he, <laughs> Omaha Beach and Saving Prior Ryan and all kinds of other shit. He, he can pull it, Bubba, right? Yeah. You don't, wait, you don't think they sent him down there because like, you know, his, his brain was broken or something, right? No. Well, I can tell you this about these tunnel rats, dude. One thing that I am wondering is how do they slide their balls into the fucking tunnels? I have no Jesus idea, man. Christ. But, but just picture this, man. You got, you know, you have uh, a tunnel, which is like, I mean, it's like a small hole. You go in there and complete fucking darkness, okay? And if, you know what? And before I even get into it, so I'm actually going to read something to you about a guy who was a tunnel rat and what his experience was like. 
So he says, there was a certain rule in tunnel warfare, you do not turn on the light. Unless you're really sure you're alone, use your senses. Do your very first killing as quietly as you can. That means don't shoot. I got into a tunnel, and when I reached the bend in the corner in the dark, I thought I was alone, and then I smelled his breath, and we had a wrestling match in the dark. I got the upper hand, and I crushed this person's trachea, held him down while he died, and then I got out. I beat and strangled someone in the dark, but that wasn't the only casualty. The other casualty was the civilized version of me, and this was Sergeant James... This, oh. This was Sergeant James Gillum, 1st Battalion, 22nd IR, 4th ID in the Central Highlands, 1969. So just kind of like let that sink in for a second, man. I mean, you're going in into the dark and you have to use your senses and you got to understand that these, these tunnels, man, I mean, they were booby trapped. They had, they were filled with fucking water and poisonous snakes. They would actually hang snakes on the roof of the tunnel so it could bite you in the neck if you got close to it, you know? Jesus. So it, it, it took some fucking balls to get out there. And you have no idea how long these tunnels are. You could, it could, they could fucking bury you alive. Uh, you could obviously get fucking killed. And obviously, like he says, man, I mean, shit got fucking personal. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Up close. So this, so this dude is, uh, he, he's crawling through a tunnel right. in the complete dark gets so close that he can smell the dude's breath. Right. Gets in a wrestling match, crushes his fucking throat, kills this dude, and I'm assuming basically leaves this tunnel at some point n not even knowing who the fuck he killed. Right. Yeah. God that's, damn. That that's, is crazy. That's that's some that's some real brutal shit, but that's war. And uh, these tunnel rats guys, I mean, they in my understanding, I think they actually got extra pay for it, but they literally went out there and and it was literally their fucking wits. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna need some some extra pay for that, man. <laughs> <laughs> if you could hook me up with some of that dependent pay or something, like I don't know, I need some shit. 